Marion Local moving on in the postseason as has become the tradition. Mark Miller, as you look at Region 26, certainly is setting up for Marion Local to once again make a run to the state semifinals. As long as they're healthy, certainly they've got playoff experience and weather. You never know what's going to happen there, but they didn't do too badly last Friday in the bad weather. So certainly uh, th they have to beat themselves to get themselves out of the tournament at least the first few rounds. Mark Shine, an interesting 4-5 matchup in this region with Fort Lormie and Fort Recovery. As we heard, first ever postseason trip for Fort Recovery. Fort Lormie has gotten quite used to playing in Week 11 as well. They have. I think the key is Call Hall. Uh, Hall, Hall. He's a really good player. Uh, he, he carries the football well, plays well defensively. He's the key to them. what they want to do. Aaron, let's look at Region 24 now. Division 7 Saturday night games, a lot of BVC teams. Columbus Grove and Pandora Gilboa. Week 1, it came down to a late safety Grove got the win. That gave Grove a lot of momentum, helped them get into the postseason. This is going to be another one of those interesting Week 11 matchups. Oh, without a doubt. And, you know, you look at Grove, and not a lot of people thought this would be a team that we would be sitting here talking about in Week 11. Maybe the only people who thought that was Andy Schaefer and his staff. Maybe they saw something that we didn't see. But, hey, they're in the playoffs. They're a three seed at 6-4. and four. They've got a backyard rival with Pandora Gilboa. And uh, that's another team, Chris Myers, in his first year, taking over at Pandora for Kerry Arthur, got his team to the postseason in his first year. Hats off to them. That game will probably be a wire job as well once again. Mark Shine, you love the numbers. Can you explain how the numbers make sense with a 4-6 and six St. John's making the postseason? <laughs> no, yeah, you play in the MAC and you get a couple of wins early against teams that won four games apiece who are bigger schools than you are, and that got you some points. Certainly the win over LCC helps St. Big John's point. get yep. in. As Mark Miller, I think Arlington perhaps is the team to beat in this region, though. Yeah. Very good. They've played solid all year in a good league, and they've played well against the uh, Liberty Benton, even the, the, their loss. So uh, this, this might be the year they get past the Blue Jays. A lot of BVC teams, five BVC teams in this bracket. It'll be interesting to see how many of those move on and we can get an all-BVC regional final perhaps.